Welcome to Ask Tucker, our online advice column where you can ask any question at all without fear of shame or public disclosure, and we will give you the most honest possible answer. That's our promise to you. Not that it's the answer you're going to like, but it will be the most honest possible answer. Okay, here's the first question. I got drunk at a wedding recently and argued with the father of the bride about Trump. He's a raging liberal and was being loud and obnoxious. My wife says I have to apologize to the whole family. Should I? Well, no and yes. No, you should not apologize to the whole family. You didn't argue with the whole family. You argued with the drunk, obnoxious liberal who was the father of the bride. And yes, you should apologize to him. There are three things to know about apologies. Okay. The first is that if you're going to do it, you have to go all the way. This was the advice my father gave me when I was a kid. He's like, it's like pregnancy. Maybe you want to enter, enter into it. Maybe you don't. But once you do, you're all in. There's nothing more pointless or counterproductive than a half-hearted apology. If you're going to apologize, go all the way. Okay. The second thing to know about an apology is that it frees you. If there's any question about whether you did something wrong, just admit it. Why do you care? You don't care because you know exactly who you are. You're not insecure. Why do you care what this guy thinks of you? You shouldn't. His opinion is not worth anything. So to apologize to him frees you from any obligation to him or any thought about him or any worry about him. And it does the third thing, which is why it's a good idea. It establishes you as the boss. It is the ultimate power move to look him straight in the face and say, you know, I'm sorry I got drunk and I didn't mean to argue with you, and it was a wedding, and I'm, and I'm sorry that I did. And he's thinking to himself, there's obviously some sort of backhanded attack here. He doesn't really mean that. You stare straight into his face and say, I'm really sorry about that. I hope you'll forgive me for doing that. Who's dad in that scenario? Who's the boss? Is it him? <laughs> it's you, because you're the one who rose above it. You care so little about his opinion that it doesn't bother you even for a second to say you're sorry because it's not that meaningful. I'm sorry, and mean it. Don't smirk, don't be sarcastic. You win when you do that. Because by the way, why were you arguing with this guy in the first place? Do you have nothing else to do at a wedding? You could be dancing, you could be wooing your wife, talking to people, normal people, not angry MSNBC viewers, and yet you, because you have no self-control or anything better to do, your schedule is not packed enough, you wound up arguing with some douchebag about Trump? You're not plowing new ground there, arguing about Trump? What is it, 2017? Please, you're not gonna win that argument, you win the argument, convince him of anything. Of course, he watches MSNBC. He hates you because you exist. Don't engage with him. You're right. Trump's a genocidal maniac, fascist Nazi. All right, you're great. And go on and have fun. If you want to win, in other words, if when all of this is over, you want to be in the top spot, maybe not financially, but spiritually, enjoy yourself. Don't get caught up in the traps before you like assholes like that. So of course you apologize. Plus, your wife will take the same message. You're a bigger man. That's true. You should do that. You lose nothing. All right. Second question. My daughter's best friend recently started an OnlyFans has been buying a lot of expensive designer clothes, even a car. I'm worried my daughter will fall into the same trap. How do I prevent